Alrighty, hello gamers, it's me Chickens with the uh, update 1.5.7, the long-awaited update. And Carlos is now done school, so he says he's going to be doing more updates or whatever. And that's nice, because this update's been pretty good. So, this update releases the new faction system. So, it doesn't really have a purpose right now, that's why I'm not really going to get into it until purpose is added later on. We got the new Vanity Wardrobe, um, Vanity Wardrobe, Wardrobe. <laughs> Sorry, I sound like crap. I have a sore throat and a cold or something. So, it's pretty useless, but it's basically now like a, um... It's like a closet where you can store only clothes. So, just like an extra storage slot. Which is pretty nice, because I'm always tight on storage. Next up, we got the new core mission, Double Cross. So, you base I'll get into that later on. We got explosive stun stat stats for explosive weapons. Not sure what that's going to be really used for in the future. It should probably be an ignored feature. Animation detail. NPCs now look at players when they are close by. Requires gra um, quality settings 5+. plus. That isn't graphic settings. It's quality. So like the in-game settings that you can kind of toggle. Because you're going to be at one bar and it'll still work. Like for me, I only run on one bar of graphics. But they'll still turn because I have my settings up higher. So, the guns, some guns got remodeled that look really, really, really good now. They remodeled the, um, Kuros remodeled the AK-47, the Tech 9 the Sawed-Off, the MP5, and the MP7. They all look really, really good. The Tech 9 AK and the AK-47 were really just kind of crispened up and added, like, make them look less blocky, which he did a really good job with. The Tech, um, the Tech 9 CF, yeah, whatever, Sawed-Off got a small remodel to, like, the handle, and it looks really, really good good now it looks way better and it's almost worth using just because how cool it looks and um the mp7 and the mp5 got drum mags and i think flashlight for the mp5 i love how they look now especially the um mp7 and since i had them already reskinned with the default colors now because more customized customization slots have been added because there's more parts on there they really fleshed up and now look really really good with the preset skins i already have on them so that's pretty nice now, um, drop changes to mods, and or, um, I mean, gun blueprints has been made because, um, whatchamacallit, because sometimes, it, like, the boss will drop a different style mod from what, like, the thing itself is, so, like, Prisoner now drops the Tech 9, um, Fumes now drops the MP7 blueprint, Corrosive drops the M4A4 blueprint, which is now really OP to grind because that blueprint sells for like $900 because Kronos didn't change the prices. So, uh, fix that. Um. Corrosive now drops, yeah. Um. Spider drops the, a, um, the op blueprint instead of the MP7 blueprint, which that's big because that's such an OP gun now you can get really easy. Sector F now drops the Desert Eagle blueprint, which is kind of cringe. Prison, prison crate drops the AK-47 blueprint instead of the Mariner 590 blueprint. Notorious prison crate now drops the uh, Mariner 590 blueprint. I only wish Kronos added back um, Bagos or whatever the boss was and just added those unobtainable guns and there was like a small percentage of drop rate. But whatever, that's just a personal thing. Mission sign above NPCs are now an explanation mark instead of a question mark. Polished main menu screen, which I'll show you in a little bit. Redesigned touch um, input for mobile stuff. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, they added the um, codex thing. Which is broken, sort of, because if you get like an event item, that's like a paint skin, and you use it, it won't say you ever obtained it. So that's kind of annoying, so you have to wait for next year to get the skins. So, whatever. So, anyways. Now let's get into the review. Um, yeah, working on some other figures here, so. Whatever. Oh my gosh, that's four minutes. Adios, nerds.
Thank mm -hmm. you.
Well, that's gonna do it for this part of the update guide. Um, I am going to go back and do the double cross mission and the vanity um, wardrobe later, but those are gonna take a little bit longer to make, and I want they're really complex, so I want to get them done in one go. And also, I'm reaching the 15 minute cap for my videos. So, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, they'll be out in a few hours. So, bye.